In this video, I'm going to cover six key areas that once you are familiar with, you will have the golden egg of color sets in your back pocket. Every one of your sets will slap harder than a scorned feminist. People will be doing rain dances in your name, begging for your drip. What's up, Finger Freaks? My name is Jess, and I'm back with another gloving video, this time aimed at helping you make cooler color sets for your programmable lights. But before I get into it, let me remind you that I'm giving away a $200 Amazing Lights gift card at 2,000 sub. If you want to win the gift card, all you have to do is the normal things that you'd do to support a YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, drop a like and a comment on this video and all the recent videos and that will increase your chances at winning the gift card because it's going to be given away randomly to one of the commenters on my recent videos. You can also support the channel by picking up my book, Mastering the Art of Gloving, at yougotmoves.com backslash handbook. YouGotMoves.com is gloving's greatest resource and the best resource for you to find anything gloving tutorial related, coaches to help you learn, or even apparel related to gloving culture. And lastly, before we get into the video, I'll slip in this meme about using code JESS3M for 10% off at AmazingLights.com. But anyways, the core columns of chromatic creativity are Number 1. Color Theory Number 2. Flash Pattern Theory, aka Too Flashy versus Too Ribbony. Number three, Hikaru Utada Theory, aka Simple and Clean Theory. Number four, How to Be Complex Without Being Busy. Number five, How to Use Accelerometers to Accent Your Colors. And number six, How Often You Should Change a Set. Number one is Color Theory. Color Theory is prevalent in nearly all aspects of art and design, from lighting, to advertising, color makes people feel things, and so it is completely reasonable to assume your color sets will do the same. I'm not going to cover every aspect of color theory in this video, mainly because I have an older video that does that in more detail, and it is a whole video topic in and of itself. If enough of you comment, however, I will remake that video in better quality. Without going into too much depth, there are two key things to take away. Each individual color corresponds with a feeling, emotion, theme, or idea, and that primary, secondary, and tertiary colors can make great sets when combined in analogous and complementary formats. Number two is flash pattern theory. The unavoidable truth of gloving is that the flash pattern will make or break the color set. The length of the gap space directly correlates to the brightness of the set as well as the amount of actual persistence of vision trail pattern to your color set. This seems on its surface self-explanatory, but it needs to be explained because most new glovers will use the most blinky, gappy flash pattern like blink E or hyperstrobe, and then throw whips as fast as possible, making their own shows unbelievably boring. Hard to be interested in a show you can't see most of. But th at the same time, there is a reason why most new glovers in will instinctively use more gappy flash patterns. And that reason is that the gaps hide sloppy technique more. The shorter the gap, the more harshly any mistakes will be accented to the point where using ribbon flash patterns can be considered gloving on hard mode. I would also like to remind the class that there is no such rule against mixing flash patterns within a set. In mixed pattern glove sets, in my opinion, certain flash patterns go better on certain fingers. For example, thumbs and pinkies can get away with being a little bit more blinky. It keeps them less in focus and gives them their own identity and purpose for the set. The pointer and ring fingers get the middle gap patterns like stroby or dops to provide the true brush of your glove stroke. The middle fingers are what are given the tightest gaps or the ribbon patterns to allow for an edge line tracer effect. Some of the best whip shows use this kind of format to create a real eye candy experience with the trail illusions. Number three is Hikaru Utara Theory, aka Simple and Clean. The Color Set Remix. This theory is one that manifests itself in different ways throughout gloving and in art in general. In essence, it states that there is beauty in simplicity. This applies for techniques, 
which we are not talking about today, but also applies to color sets. Colors are great. So more colors equals more great, right? While this can be true, it is often not true due to the overwhelming nature of how the colors combine. The more colors you have in a set, the more white it will appear at a standstill, and the more you'll have to move to show off those colors. There's no reason to get stuck in the mental trap of having your whole glove set, all of your fingers have the same three or more colors. Of course, a lot of cool glove sets can do that, but it also can be cool to have each individual finger showcase a different colored light. Genuinely one of the best sets I've ever seen, copied, and used for most of my gloving career was a Roy G. Biv color gradient that puts a different color on each finger. It only had one color per finger, but it was simple, powerful, and colorful. And this is the standard when it comes to the ideals of simplicity. Number four, how to be complex without being too busy. Okay, Edgelord, so you have to have more than three colors in your set, or you're dead set on some kind of seven color strobe. You're absolutely bonkers for this, and I approve of your outlandish necessity for color. There are a couple ways of doing this, which can still avoid being too busy and overwhelming. First, we come back to the good old Roy G. Biv. The rainbow is iconic for a reason. The visible spectrum is being laid out in front of you, and that shit is tight as fuck, regardless of which tight you fuck. So don't be afraid to just use hella rainbows in your sets. The second way of doing this is gradient fades of one color. Most programmable sets these days have at least six variations of a color. You can pick as many similar colors as you want and throw them all together. I have one last issue to bring up. I have one genuine, wholehearted concern, warning, recommendation against while using more than three colors per finger. And that is, do not just pick random colors. Use the color theory we discussed above, pair colors in ways that match, pair colors in ways that complement each other. Or don't, I don't care, I'm not your dad. Okay, now this is where shit gets complicated. I have a few formats that I use to make interesting accelerometer sets, and rather than just giving you those sets, I want to tell you the psychology behind them. The two types of accelerometer functions I use primarily are flux mode and the threshold shift. Flux mode mixes the colors in your set through three different speed levels. This mode works best with colors that are far from each other on the color spectrum, because the more they react when they mix, the more interesting the output. Threshold shift completely changes your color and flash pattern combo to another one entirely once the speed threshold has been met. Falls back below and it changes back. This accelerometer function is admittedly a lot more versatile. However, my favorite format is to use the lowest threshold to shift blink E, SOS blink, and strobe into strobe or dots. If you really want to get spicy here, put a ribbon or a dash dot on the middle finger. This really gets the geese going. The sixth pillar of glove sets is how often you should change them. And the answer is you honestly don't ever have to change your set. If you like it, keep it. Write it down. Come back to it. Color sets are fun and you should have fun changing them. But if you don't have fun making up new ones, keep what works for you and bum the cool ones off your favorite clovers. Sometimes they will say no, but if that irks you that bad, use the ideas to come up with your own. You can't be mad if you won't do it yourself, and since you've made it this far into a weirdo YouTube gloving color set video, then you are probably the up-and-coming go-getter type, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and don't forget that You Got Moves has my book. Just add backslash handbook or I am the jest to that URL, and it'll land you right in the area to find the book. I'm also, of course, giving away $200 amazing gift card, yada, yada, yada. You, at the beginning of the video, I game, went over all of this stuff. Just like, comment on all of my recent videos. You'll have a better chance of winning. Use code JUST3M, all that, yada, yada. You know that, I'm sure. The last thing before I go is bigly, hugely thanks to everyone who's actually bought my book already. The first edition is almost sold out. Blessed Trails, Finger Freaks, and remember it's better to be weird than boring. 
Go follow me on social media, Instagram, I am the jest, Facebook, I am the jest, TikTok, I am the jest, YouTube, I am the jest. Also, play Apex with me. I play Apex Legends pretty much all the time. So if you're one of these weirdo finger wiggler kids who also finger wiggles on controllers or keyboards, hit me up. I'm jesticles on Steam. Anyways, I've droned on long enough. Bless.